what's going on YouTube. So behind me here, we have all three different types of our camping setups. Of course, you know, as y'all know, we live full time in our RV. We have a friend of ours, Lance, that came from Colorado. He's in his little, his small little overlander setup RV, a little camper, absolutely incredible. And another friend of ours came out from Colorado. It's, you'll, we'll show you his also. He's got his Toyota Tacoma. He's got his rooftop tent. So it's actually all three different worlds of how you know you would come out to a camp spot like this. Let me show you these. These are actually really cool. What up guys, Austin Miller. I've got this, uh, this 07 Toyota Tacoma here. She's on a three inch lift, 35s, rear slip, diff, 488 gears. And um, I'm running everything from Pelfry built to brute force fab bumper wise, as well as sliders. Um, I'm running RCs, these are coming off. Rigid Industries is what I'd like to go with all the way around. That's what I've got in my bumper setup. Um, also got the snorkel, Smitty Built winch. I believe in Smitty Built. I've even got their rooftop tent over here. It's the XL version. We just uh, upgraded from the smaller version and the first gen. These second gens are no joke. Um, they're really nice material. This XL is huge, as you'll see in just a moment. Um, but we've been nothing but happy with these Smittyville products. We've got the lights for a little bit of ambiance, a little bit of uh, Mr. Heater Buddy going on, that way we don't freeze at night. But take a look up in there, she's huge. And as we come to the back, We've got the decked drawer system for all of our clothes, shoes, whatever you need. We've got a um, on, bear, on onboard air with Smitty built. I've got my hose back there, some lights. The roto pack will go on at one point. Um, we've got a nice little water tank here, hand pressurized, super sick. You get like three or four uh, showers out of this and that's just me and my wife. So two people can take about three showers. Um, Rego rack, the mole panel from Rego is pretty nice. Prinsu, of course, you can't go wrong. And uh, you know, she, she gets where you need to go. She's uh, wheeling pretty heavy and you get to get these incredible views with our Smitty built rooftop tent. Absolutely beautiful. You can go camp wherever you like on any trail. Y'all have a good one. Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Lance. We're out here in Moab. And I figured I'd give you a tour of the FJ and my camper. Let's start with the FJ. So this is a 2010 Toyota FJ Cruiser Trail Teams Edition. Uh, specific color is Sandstorm. We've got quite a lot, quite a lot of mods in, into it, but we have the Metal Tech front tube bumper with the Smitty Built 10K winch. Um, <clears throat> just running some Amazon special lights, nothing crazy. Eventually, maybe I'll get some Baja designs, but that's later on down the road. But yeah, custom BX built headlights. Uh, then if you look underneath, I have full Ricochet off-road armor. Every bit of the truck is fully armored because I like to hit stuff. So she's got a three and a half inch lift. We are on King coilovers. JBA upper control arms on some uh, 35 inch Toyo Open Country RTs and KMC wheels. And then up top here, I have a 120 watt solar panel that's essentially taped to the hood. Um, I have a dual battery system in here that I custom built myself. And this powers my dual battery system so I can run a fridge, uh, other various items, etc. cetera. Um, more lights, ditch lights come in handy. And on the inside here, the light on. on the inside, we have a radio system, a phone mount. This is the switch panels over here. Runs the lights, so on. It's pretty nice. And then uh, we'll move on to the back. So I have also a metal tech rear tube bumper uh, this thing has been awesome for me uh, same as the front bumper metal tech is a fantastic company 
highly recommend you reach out to them for anything you need. Uh, custom Westcott Designs spare tire relocation. Because whenever you go 35s on an FJ, you have to raise the spare tire mount. And back here, I have my custom storage system that I built. This is where I keep my fridge normally. I don't have it right now, but we have CO2, air inflation, air inflation device, med kit. And then over here we have a deflation device, recovery gear, etc. cetera. Um, and then in the storage, this is where I keep, you know, tools because you never know when you're gonna break. Tool bag, tool bag, shovel, air compressor, just various items that you know you'll need whenever you go off road. By the way, he forgot to mention the stereo system in this thing. What's up is this? So the audio system in this is uh it's mint. Uh, this is a custom built ported box. It's got two JL Audio W W310s powered by a Kenwood 950 watt um, amp. And I got Focal three and a halfs back here, Focal six by nines in the front and Focal tweeters in the dash. Just in case the trail is not shaking you enough. I'm not kidding. Like you could be on the rockiest roads and it's not as rocky feeling as these subs. Like it's like they hit freaking hard guys. It's crazy. You got a bump when you're off road. What can I say? <laughs> but yeah, that pretty much sums it up for the FJ. Oh, uh, well, my exhaust. I have an AF, AFE Rebel Series uh, exhaust. Love it. Don't like how low it hangs. As you can see, it's, it's got character now. <laughs> but gonna eventually cut it and tuck those up so that's not an issue anymore. Um, and again, you can see the Kings. I'm running Dobinson's rear springs. Um, heavy duty because she's heavy and yeah that's pretty much it so let's start with the camper all right guys as promised uh, gonna give you a tour of our off-road off-roading camper so this is a Sunray 109 Sport uh, it actually has a lift and mud terrain tires which makes it quite capable off-road um, We've built it out to be fully off-grid capable. So here we have a 300 amp hour lithium battery, which we also have a 300 watts of solar charging up that lithium battery. Um, by the way, got this stuff from Renogy. Renogy is a fantastic company. They have really good products and you can't beat their prices. But yeah. 3 amp hour lithium battery, 300 watts of solar. Um, might be difficult to see this, but down here, this is where we have our 2000 watt inverter and we have our uh, Renogy solar charger. This is our solar charger cords. And then we just have other various things that we use this for, mostly storage. might be difficult to see this also but this is our shower so this comes out and it comes up into our shower tent which I'll show you the shower tent so if you take a look inside this is an Ironman 4x4 shower tent we also use it as a, a potty tent it's been really great for us um, love it it gets the job done so we also have our hot water heater right here. Uh, this is our fresh water connection, city water connection, and our, our power connection is over there. So this thing has 16 gallons of uh, storage for water, six gallons in the water heater, and 10 gallons in the uh, water tank. Here, this is our, our kitchen. That's our Dometic two burner stove, small sink. And we got plenty of storage. Keep our plates and silverware and other various items up here. And then 
down here is just more storage. We keep a lot of stuff in there, so it's a little cluttered. More storage up here. This is typically where we keep all of our dry goods. And then, of course, a Dometic fridge. Just big enough. All of our condiments, drinks, etc. It's also got a freezer. And this fridge is electric and gas. So whenever electricity is not available, it will run off the propane. Really nice. Now if you follow me over here, take it to the inside. But first, we have outdoor speakers. Uh, there's also indoor speakers. They're obviously a radio powering them. Let's go inside. So the Sunray 109 comes with a full size bed. Uh, and this bed will actually push back and turn into a couch. And over here, you know, we got our light switches, we got our radio right here. And then if you take a look inside, you can actually see that we have an air conditioning unit as well. We also have a furnace, so it keeps us nice and toasty in here. Shut that. And up here, this is our awning. Um, don't have it out right now because we don't really need for it tonight, but typically we'll extend this awning out. We have an awning room that we'll actually put on and we'll use that awning room for more storage or just a cool place to chill, keep out of the weather. Yeah, that's the Sunray 109. Thanks for uh, chiming in, guys. All right, guys. So I shot the video while we were there in Moab. I uh, didn't get to finish it because it ended up getting too dark. Whenever I went to look at the video, realized you couldn't see me, the Jeep, nothing at all. So, my turn now. Here we are. We have the 1999 Jeep Wrangler TJ. Uh, not a lot going on the front other than, of course, our tow bar. Um, I think it was a Smittybilt tow bar. Uh, I did the x bolt uh, 13.5 winch it was actually a um, amazon winch i have absolutely loved this winch it was cheap but it's great i used it a lot now i've used it a ton um, i have also done the kc lights um, i've just recently done a led upgrade on those so everything is led now a ton of wiring upgrade i recently also put in a so there's a connector here so I can connect air from the RV to the Jeep onboard air hopefully is going in before too long but I can connect air in from there and then once you get the air connected to that from inside the Jeep it'll actually be powered up um, to this nozzle here this is how I'm able to turn it on and off my gauge to show me how much air pressure is actually in the line and then I have on either side of the Jeep I have a connector on the passenger side, one on the driver's side, and then I have a splitter that goes from there to the pass the, the back wheel, one to the front tire, and I'm able to do air up and deflate all four at the same time. Uh, while we're already in the Jeep, uh, I will show you a thumb throttle, probably the coolest upgrade I've done to the Jeep so far. If you have a standard vehicle, thumb throttle is a must. Absolutely love this thing when rock crawling. Um, gear shift broke, the knob did, so custom built some 14 millimeter uh, little shifter here and then other than that not a lot I mean my phone is the fold too so I have a giant fold a phone mount a magnetic for the winch controller and then Smitty built seat protector uh, all my molly bags here it's all my uh, medical stuff um, I think wiring for the the winch you know odds and ends survival stuff and whatnot uh, my hoses for my four-way connector still have the back seat and yeah that's all that's really going on in here nothing special about the sound system i think i've got some kickers in here um door speakers and overhead it's nice i mean it sounds good nothing with a lot of bass but it definitely sounds you know pretty good now back to the outside again so i have the bf goodrich km3 tires absolutely 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 love these tires these have got to be the best tires on the market love these tires 35 12 50 15s uh, don't remember what rims these are um, i am running the rock crawler shocks 
with the Rancho RS 5000X uh, shocks, I'm sorry, and the, the uh, rock crawler springs. I think it's about a total of, uh, it's like a three inch lift there. And then I've done an inch body lift, one inch transfer case drop. Um, I did the B&M transfer case shifter on the inside. Again, can't say enough good things about that. A Smitty built tire carrier. I just found this basket the other day. Actually, it was somebody threw it away, and I was like, I'll take it. We use it for camping now. I built this basket here for the that mounts onto the rear tire carrier. It was supposed to be a receiver hitch basket, but I built it to be go on the top of the tire. So again, more camping stuff. And other than that. I think that's about it. We have a, it's a 36 and a half foot Coachman Murata. It's called a 35 LS. Uh, tons and tons of storage. Every one of these boxes is storage on both sides. Some of them are pass through storages. Outdoor TV with entertainment system out here. Of course, the awning out here to over, over the top. Normally we have the Blackstone set up. Um, outdoor lighting with outdoor chairs and tables. We do all that, you know, when we have friends over. Don't set up every single time we're out, but definitely sometimes. Now, let's check out inside. All right, guys, so just a heads up, we live in here. So it's, I didn't clean it. I didn't like, you know, this is, we live in it. This is how we live every day. There's a little bit more clutter than normally because we got to, we're finally somewhere. We got to order a bunch of parts and boxes and stuff that we need because we've been off the grid for a while. So there's a lot more boxes in it than normally is, but uh, so here's passenger seat. This is where I work. My computer is set up right here. Um, driver's seat, of course. We just ordered some dog food for Nash. Had to get a new surge protector today. Uh, from here, I have my cameras, uh, tire pressure monitoring system, Garmin mounts to that side, and then my phone mounts over here. So we have multiple types of, of uh, maps. We have T-Mobile, Starlink, and AT&T for internet, being we work from here and have to have internet. We have all three forms of internet. Uh, the table makes into a bed, but as you can tell, we haven't been using it too much. Brittany will sit over here. I'll sit right here. We'll have our dinner, but Starlink's kind of packed away. I've been doing some projects earlier today with the electricity and stuff, so I have a bunch of stuff pulled out. Brittany's not happy, but, and of course, from the kitchen sink, uh, three burner gas stove. We have the Ninja air fryer. We have an oven, big giant microwave, Residential size fridge and freezer, full size TV, sound bar. We even have the little fireplace here. Actually, is nice for the ambiance and it's also nice because it just put out quite a bit of heat. Uh, again, storage everywhere. Everywhere you look, there's there's cabinets all over the place. Of course, you have to have your PlayStation up here, Apple TV. Uh, this is our oh pantry. You got pantry up top and bottom. Plenty of storage for that. This is the guest bathroom. There's two bathrooms, I know. That is ridiculous. Not a lot going on in here, but a little guest bathroom. And then, coming to the back, queen size bed. Oh, by the way, the this bed, is, uh, this couch actually makes into a queen size bed also. So we have a full size bed, a queen size bed. The, 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 the bedroom has a queen size bed also. Storage underneath it. Uh, then you have storage above it. Even up here, so all this is all storage. The TV even moves away. More storage. All of Brittany's work stuff in here. You know, clothes, shoes. And then the bathroom. I let me turn that fan off. There we go. So, main bathroom here. Uh, tons of storage. Sink. And a giant, giant shower. Not a normal shower you'd see in an RV, I feel like. But, you know, you can easily fit two people in a big shower there. Uh, so yeah, here is our RV, two ACs, um, it's a class A motorhome, so we pull the Jeep behind us compared to like a fifth wheel that you know you have a truck to pull the, the, the trailer behind you. So yeah, guys, what do you think? Um, what's, what's your style? Like, what is it? Is it going to be the rooftop tent? Is it going to be the, the small little compact overland trailer? Or are you ready to move into your RV and, and travel the country full time? You know, all three lifestyles are completely different. In my opinion, not one is better than the other. If we weren't living in it, 
I, I mean, I like the idea of Lance's being that we live in ours. I still want a rooftop tent on top of the Jeep so we can go do some weekend activities, you know, out in the middle of nowhere. So that's where I like the rooftop tent idea also. Um, but yeah, so in the comments below, guys, what is your favorite off-road rig? And what is your favorite uh, camping idea? Like as far as, what do you like, the, the tent? Do you like the little small camper? Or do you like the class A? What would be more your style? So guys, thank you again so much for watching. We love you guys. We'll see you on the next one.